nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen Here we are at the Quick Trips uh, Truck Stop Quick Trip Truck Stop Yeah, that's right we just fueled her up and uh, now we are ready to roll. That's right. Just gotta press my button here for my uh, fuel clock to reset. I just fueled up, did my pre trip. Ready to roll. It's quarter to eight. towards Black River Falls, Wisconsin and then get my wheel recharge. I haven't been able to get that done yet. So. And I know on Black River Falls they, uh, they're open on a Sunday so I know I can go in there and get it done so we will do that. We will do that. That's for sure. That's a must. That's right. But we did have a good night's sleep. Now it's time to get back to work. Sometimes we truckers, we have to work. <laughs> That's right. Well, thanks for joining us today on this fine Sunday morning. I hope you had a fantastic weekend so far. I know for me it's kind of hard to work this weekend because I could have stayed home but I decided to go back to work anyways because uh, over Christmas it's going to be a lot of time off already and we all need the money I need the money the just as much as anybody else miles. I'm not rich by any means so I have to work, you know, while I can. Plus, I'm trying to pay off the uh, the debt. You know, I'm trying to pay off a little extra here and there. You know. So, anyways, let's put the hammer down and let's get down the road and let's travel with me and let's see what kind of goodies we can show you today. Here we go, guys. We are just about to hit the Black River Folks Flying J. That's right. We are going to go in here and get our wheel retort. And I'm sort of thinking about maybe uh, going in and getting some breakfast done as well, you know. I think that sounds like a good plan to me. Go in and get some breakfast done. And have my wheel retort and I don't have to worry about that anymore yeah I think that sounds like a fantastic plan it's a little cloudy today but I don't think it would be snowing today because it's like plus three plus four it's not cold enough really to be snowing I think but then again you never know it can cool down real fast too right that's right. Yeah, let's see if this light is going to change. Oh, I think that's going to change very soon. I see the other one getting yellow. There we go. Yeah, they got actually a couple of things in this area that we can uh, always consider. We got a. Uh, Flying J right up here and I think they got like a quick trip right across the street and the McDonald's I think has got a few spots for parking and then we got a Walmart over there and then we got a big mall just across the street from the Walmart up there where trucks park sometimes. In one mile, turn right on North Water Street, US 12. 
So there's actually a lot of parking up in this area, you know? You really need to stay somewhere or uh, park somewhere, you know? They got all kinds of parking in here. That's for sure. So we're just gonna go out there and pull her up to the shop over there. And see if they got time right away to do a wheel retorque. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they redid this parking lot here last year, but it doesn't seem to help too much. <laughs> it's almost as bad as it was last year already. Oh wow, the guy's been parking everywhere. Looks like today. Like even right here where there's not even really a parking spot. It must have been really full this last night. Good thing I didn't try and get here last night. That's right. I think we're just gonna pull it right up here. To this door up here. Oh boy, I don't even see an open sign. I hope they're open. Uh-oh. That wouldn't be good if they're not open. Yeah, I don't even see an open sign there. I don't know if they're not open on the Sunday anymore or what. But we'll go check in and we'll see. We have had a very nice breakfast done. That's right. We managed to get our wheel retort. None of the nuts, uh, wheel nuts were uh, loose. So that's good. I think every time that I've uh, gotten a tire taken off or whatever by my mechanic, I don't think I've ever experienced that yet where uh, wheel nuts uh, have been loose. I have experienced it when I have done that at other shops, but uh, my mechanic seems to know how to tighten it up to, uh, to make sure it's, you know, going to stay on there. He seems to do a very fantastic job. Very good job. Oh yeah. We had a very nice waitress in here at the Flying J as well today. It was a guy. He was doing a very good job of serving his customers. He uh, was always there walking around making sure everybody was good he always knew that when your cup was getting low with coffee he always knew to bring coffee right away he didn't have to ask for nothing now that's what I call service at a restaurant yeah he did a very good job was very happy about it yep Anyways, we got 435 miles to go to our delivery place in Indianapolis. But before we get there, guess what? We have to go through Chicago. That's right. But that's okay. Today is Sunday. So it should be okay. We're leaving here now quarter after 10 about three hours to South Beloit. That'll be about one o'clock by the time I get to South Beloit. So at about two o'clock by the time we roll through Chicago. So it shouldn't be too bad yet. At least I don't think so. But we'll have to keep our fingers crossed and see, right? I'm not sure if the hockey game is going on tonight or whatever. Somebody was telling me that there's a hockey game or something like that going on this weekend so might be a little heavier traffic than usually on the Sunday but we'll have to see we'll just have to wait and see I guess anyways let's put the hammer down and let's go well, yeah guys we have made it through Chicago yeah that's right I decided not to go around Chicago so uh, went right well not right through downtown Chicago but we went through Chicago yeah, had a little bit of traffic in there but it wasn't terrible you know so we made it right through on there and no problem
problems really few spots where we came to almost to a stop and then go again but other than that we cruise right on through and here we are on I-65 we only have 106 miles to go to our final destination which we won't go all the way there but uh, I already looked at a few truck stops along the way here and we'll see I don't know if we'll stop in Lebanon Indiana or if we will go a little bit south of Lebanon Indiana there's a rest area up there I'm sort of debating on whether or not I'm going to go to that rest area or if I'm going to just try and get a parking spot there in uh, Lebanon there with the Flying J I guess we'll decide when we get closer probably another hour and a half worth of driving that we'll be doing and then uh, we'll be done for today won't be a super long day today but that's alright we already got seven hours worth of driving behind us. Another hour and a half and we'll be done probably for today. That's not bad. I think that's pretty reasonable. Yeah, eight and a half hours worth of driving. Yeah, that's not the greatest, but also not the worst. I've done worse. <laughs> Trust me, I have. Oh yeah. But other than that, it's been a good day, not windy at all, no snow, not really raining there earlier, a little bit drizzle, but not really enough to actually have to have my wipers going steadily or anything like that, so it's a little bit cloudy right now, as you can probably tell. Other than that, it's just been a fantastic Sunday. Yeah, it would have been nicer if I could have been home, but hey. Some of us have to work on a weekend. That's part of a trucker's job. That's what they say anyways. Yeah, well. I guess we'll continue on. Oh, look at that. We got a corn, big corn uh, up there. That's different. I don't think I've ever seen that there before. Mind you, I haven't been down on this 65 in a good while, so. I guess they could have put that up there by now. That's right. Alrighty, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll be back in a little bit, I guess. Well, 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 guys, wouldn't you believe it? I am just about parked in the same spot as me and Jukebox were. Me and Trucker Jukebox, yes, that's the one I'm talking about when we met up a while back ago we met up at exactly this spot up here on this TA and I'm almost parked in the almost exact same spot I think I think I was parked maybe over there and he was parked right here or something like that or maybe a couple of trucks further that way but uh, I am pretty much parked at the almost exact same spot this is where we met the almighty trucker jukebox and that truck uh, right beside me there, he left. Yeah, there was a truck parked right there beside me, but uh, I don't know where he decides to go at this time of the night. I mean, it's already 11 o'clock at night, Eastern time that is. It's just after 10 Central time, but hey, he decided to leave. I guess maybe he slept till till now, and maybe he likes to drive at night. Or maybe he's got to make a delivery at night. I don't know. Some people have to do that. You know, especially to grocery stores and stuff. You got to make a delivery at night. So, you never know, right? But there is actually plenty of parking in here still. I mean, like I said, this spot is open. and look like there's a few spots open over there yet. So yeah, there's actually plenty of spots in open over here. I never thought there was be would be this much parking here, you know, especially close to Indianapolis. I actually I was kind of afraid that there wasn't going to be any parking, but then I was looking at the Lebanon, Indiana. There was plenty of parking at the Flying J over there, and in the rest area there was plenty of parking. And looking at the Loves, they're just down the road from here, and looked like plenty of parking over there. So I said, oh, all right, I guess. We'll be alright, and we were. We really are, but yeah, I just, you know, 
like to look back at the uh, history of my channel and this is where I met Trucker Jukebox this was not the first time I met him but this was the second time I believe I met him yeah so that was good time here this is actually where he gave me the tripod yeah that's where he gave me the tripod and uh, I use it still today I still have it I still use it matter of fact when I did the uh, Christmas songs that I recorded up there I was using it on the same thing when I did the Christmas parade parade I had it uh, just folded together not spread apart and I was just holding it up in the air to film everything and that's how what you saw at the Christmas parade that's how I was able to overlook everybody and turn the camera around and stuff like that so I'm still using it today it still works and uh, anyways we are ready for bed like I said it's just after 11 Eastern time so but we only have to be at our place uh, for 9 o'clock Eastern time so you know I still have plenty of hours to uh, sleep and yeah you know if I go to sleep right now I can get up at 7 30 and still have my eight hours of sleep and it is only Voila, only eight miles to my uh, delivery. So it's not like I got a million miles to drive before I get there. So, But anyways, enough of that. We'll go to bed here and uh, we'll see you guys again tomorrow at 2 a.m. Some of you will be watching. So stick around. We'll see you then. Be sure to leave comments down there below. And rate the video up. Hey. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new to our channel. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come.